Hi there, so I would like to talk about potassium bromate. I have been doing a lot of research about it and I didn't really find that much information in one place about it or that many videos about it so I decided to do this video. I got some of my information from naturalnews.com which I recommend. I love their website. So. Um, I decided to look into this because I don't think a lot has been said about it and that it's not really widely known um, ingredient and so so I'm not vegetarian I'm not vegan um, I'm just extremely conscious of what I'm eating and what's in my food and um, so I decided to make uh, all organic cookies. I wanted to make completely organic cookies. I actually never eat sweets. I'm more into organic juices, but I just got it in my head that I had never seen any in the bakery, so I wanted to do that. So I, I was looking at the flowers, and I got um, whole wheat organic flour. And as you can see, it didn't really come out with the same consistency as a normal cookie that you would find in the bakery, um, although it is extremely delicious and I like it way more because it is organic. So, so I started doing research about the flour and I was really surprised with what I found because I thought, well, what really could be in flour that's that bad? I mean, but um, I was wrong and I was surprised because I do a lot of research about chemicals and ingredients and I'd never heard about this. So potassium bromate is an oxidizing um, agent used in flour and it's considered a category 2b carcinogen by the International Agency for Research on Cancer so it's actually it causes flour to bulk up and it makes bread rise quicker and it so it reduces the costs for baking because it is quicker and it allows uh, lower quality flours to be used. So it was banned from use products, uh, from use in food products in Europe and also in China in 2005 and also some other countries. In the US it isn't, is not banned and since 1991, the FDA has urged bakers to voluntarily stop using it. In California, it has to have a warning label if it is bromated flour. So Japan stopped using uh, bromated flour back in 1980 and it resumed use in 2005 because um, they had new production methods that they said reduced the amount of the chemical in products. So US law does not require this to be listed as a separate ingredient on food labels. So it can be in fast foods rolls, bread, dough, dessert, or snacks. And me, um, I have stopped eating fast food years ago, but just knowing that this also is in fast food among all the other horrible ingredients in fast food is not surprising, but I don't think many people have actually heard or researched this ingredient. So it has been linked to cancer in laboratory animals and it induced tumors in rats in research done in 1982. So 
I'm going to read out of this book. Um, so just give me a second here while I find it. I I greatly recommend this book. It's I constantly use this book all the time. So just one second and I'll find it. So I'm going to read the definition here. Potassium bromate. The, this compound is added as an improving additive in bread. The expected result is to obtain a fine sponge-like quality with the action of oxygen. This method is used in Great Britain, the United States, and Japan. Legal allowance of potassium bromate is below 50 ppm in white flour and 75 ppm in whole wheat flour. It is very toxic when taken internally. Burns and skin irritation have been reported from its industrial uses. In toothpaste, it has been reported to have caused inflammation and bleeding of gums. In 1980, the Ames test found it to be a mutagen. Uh, I apologize if I pronounce any of these wrong. Um, the FAO said in 1993 that new data about potassium bromate showed long-term toxicity and carc carcinogenicity, carcinogenicity, including kidney tumors, tumors of the lining of the stomach, and thyroid tumors in rats, and slightly increased kidney tumors in hamsters. On the basis of the new safety data and the new data on residual bromate in bread, the committee concluded the use of potassium bromate as a flour treatment additive was not appropriate. The previous acceptable level of treatment of flours for bread making was therefore withdrawn. The FDA has taken no action at this writing to restrict the use of this additive. So, it doesn't have to be labeled, and the FDA has not banned it, and it has been linked to cancer. I haven't found that much information all on one, in, in one place, so that's why I decided to do this video. If I do find more videos or more information, I will leave links on this video for you to check out for yourself. But. Here's the flower that I bought, and I would recommend it. It did work very well. I am just going to have to learn how to work with it better because it was the first time that I had made all organic cookies, but it is a great alternative. So thank you for watching, and I encourage you to do some reading about it for yourself and check your labels when you're at your grocery store.